Hey everyone, I'm Alice and today we're going down the rabbit hole and discussing controversial casting. So the rabbit hole's a little different today. My digital filming station is a bit of a mess and I'm not really in the mood to take care of it so I'm filming on my bed. However, I am going to stroke my Cheshire Cat plushie creepily like I'm a mob boss. So, last weekend, Disney announced the role of Tinkerbell in the upcoming live-action remake will be played by blackish alum Yara Shahidi, and their actions are about what you'd expect. I'm not racist, but Tinkerbell is supposed to be white. How would you feel about a white Tiana? You know, one of these days I am going to do a planned video and not a video based on current events. But it's not this day. And I'm okay with that, honestly. The Disney Overlords have been making a lot of controversial casting decisions as of late, and I wanted to discuss them. And before I... Before I start, I'm going to say this. I am a theater geek, even if I'm not an actor. I love theater, love watching it. I love being in the pit orchestra, even if I'm not on stage. And these kinds of things aren't exactly uncommon in theater. Unless a casting call specifies a race, at which point it's usually a plot point, whether they're black or white or Latino or whatever, then they're not, then they're not going to look solely at your race to, uh, in regards to whether they're going to cast you. Belle, Glinda, Cinderella, Elsa, Cosette, Fiona, Ariel, Christine, Evan Hansen have all been played by non-made actors. Heck, we have a stage we have a stage show where where people who are historically known to be slave owners are played by black men, which is probably the biggest screw you, you could ever give someone. They don't they don't look at your race in theater, they look at who can best capture the spirit of the character. So our first controversial decision of course is going to be Yara Shahidi as Tinkerbell. I'm not too familiar with her work but her resume suggests she's familiar with comedy and she looks like a mischievous fairy. Let's be real here. Suggestions range from Reese Witherspoon who might be a little old especially since when especially since they went with age-appropriate casting, and Tinkerbell's supposed to have a crush on Peter. Apparently, she's a pedo. FBI, open up! To Dove Cameron, who... I, I just want her to headline a Broadway revival of Play of the Piazza. And no one was too upset for about a Peter Pan remake until her casting was announced. It's also worth noting that people wanted Tom Holland to play Peter, Peter Pan, even though while he looks young, he doesn't look that young, young. and not a single Tiger Lily suggestion has actually been Native American, even though there are plenty of talented Native American actresses out there if you really look for them. And now her predecessor and former grown-ish co-star Halle Bailey as Ariel. Again, people are saying Ariel is supposed to be white, and that's the only problem, but there were enough racial slurs thrown around when biracial Zendaya was rumored for the role that I'm not sure I believe them. They complain about forced diversity, but there's a lot more black people on this planet than redheads. Yes, and, and yes, I know Ariel's red hair is iconic, but... You know who can really pull off that fire truck red color in hair? Black women. Just look up Zendaya with red hairs, trust me. Or Gogo -Go can put the picture up in the video. That works too. 
People petitioned for Sadie Sink to play Ariel as she was already on everyone's minds because this casting was announced not long after season three of Stranger Things came out. But I do think she's a little busy and perhaps even uninterested in playing a character like Ariel. And also, there is a Hercules remake of the works, although we don't really know 100% what's going down with that. I honestly think Sadie Sink would be better suited to play the sassy Meg than the soft-spoken Ariel, especially if either K.J. Oppa or Tom Holland plays Hercules, that would be amazing. But from what I've seen of Holly Bailey, she's got Ariel just as her personality. John Boyega as Finn. He's a totally original character and thus, there, thus there's no racial precedent. He should be fine, right? Wrong. People started a white genocide hashtag over him. Which, honestly, might be a little part of why J. part of why the people pleasing J.J. Abrams did what he did with the character over time. Kelly Marie Tran as Rose Tico. She's Asian, she's adorably, adorably chubby. She's a female character that has her own agency. What, what about her with the gatekeepers like? They had to actually shut off editing on Rose's Wikipedia page because of racist, sexist, and fatphobic vandalism on it. May surprise you, though, that while it wasn't to this degree before, because the internet was what it is today, there was similar backlash against now fan favorite Lando Calrissian. So, there's hope for Rose. Like, I get if she's just not your favorite character, but don't say she doesn't belong in the fandom just because of how she looks. Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. Her comments have made her unliked beyond the fact that Captain Marvel originated as a dude in the comics. It's a long story for another episode. Some suggested Monica Rambeau take over the mantle, which I don't think anyone would mind, but I also don't think that's Kevin Feige's creative vision. So I also wanted her to be played by Charlie Theron, who I hear is talented, haven't seen her, don't kill me, but it's 15 years older than Brie, so it's safe to say that wasn't the creative vision either. And people say Brie is a bad actress. How many Oscars do you have? Emma Watson as Belle. Some people hate her outspoken feminist beliefs. Some think she forgot how to act after Harry Potter. Some people don't think she was pretty enough. Some people don't think her singing was up to snuff. Some people really just wanted Anne Hathaway to play Belle. Even though I honestly am not sure if she, want, she would want to play a Disney princess. These range, these range from offensive to just flat out wrong to okay you're right but it could have been worse. Well, Emma Watson, of course, isn't as good a singer as Paige O'Hara or Susan Egan, but she's a better singer and put more effort in to learn than Russell Crowe and Gerard Butler, who played more vocally demanding roles in film. And, and I thought she did a pretty good job, her singing ability aside. So what do you think? Should I do more of these? Please leave thoughts in the comments below. Please like and sub subscribe. Thanks to GoGo for editing, and I will see you next time down the rabbit hole.